Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and today I wanted to introduce you to on how to create a structural platform. The first video will be how to create a 3D platform itself. And then in the second video, we'll show you how to add columns. In the third video, I'm going to show you how to create a double flight stair with landing. Finally, in the fourth video, I'll show you how to add the 3D railing to both the stair and landing area. So I encourage you to go through each of them if you're interested. In the lower right hand part of the screen, I'll also be showing you some of the standard CAD commands that I'm using in order to speed up the input. So let's start off by typing REC for rectangle, and then I'm going to input the distances in here. I'm going to go with a 15 foot this way and a 30 foot this way. So that's going to give me the outline of my platform in 2D. Go into my 3D view here. Actually, I'm going to look at it from the southeast isometric. Here I can divide this up using the array command. I'm going to type in L for line, and I'm going to put a line down here at the end, and then type in AR for array, type L for last, which is the last entity created, enter, and for the array type, choose rectangular, and for my rows, which are going this way, I'll select this, and I'll choose five, but the distance between rows, I want to select this total here, and then click on the length of the platform. Enter. I want to make sure that my columns is set to one and that gets rid of this stuff down here. So now that I have my spacing, I'm going to go ahead and create my beams. Come up here to the shapes utility. And I am using a S shape. It's a 12 inch deep beam. And I've got my draw 3D turned on. I'm going to select view draw here. And I'm going to select it from the top of beam. Now these are pick sensitive. I'm going to click the endpoint here and the endpoint down here. And my roll angle, I just select to zero. That allows me to roll it, let's say, on its side. In most cases, I just select zero on that one. Now I'm going to draw in the connecting beam. I'll go up here, choose view draw, same thing, top of beam. And then I'm going to override the, the current running object snaps in the middle of a command and type in end because I want the end point here and the end point down here at this end. And then for my roll, I just select enter. Now I need to coat these two beams together. So I'm going to move this beam away. Make sure my ortho is turned on. Type in one foot. And then come up into my shapes utility again. Make sure my cope configuration is correct. Changes to one and a half. That's the height from the top there. And leave everything else the same. And I'll press OK. And I'll choose cope. I'll select this beam here. And then the adjoining beam. And let me just shade this so you can see what happened there. And then what I can do is join this by just moving it back to the other beam and just view my model. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm going to copy this from the endpoint here to here and go into my Southwest isometric view and do the same thing. So again, just move this beam out just temporarily. I find that if I do this, it just comes out a little bit cleaner and shapes. Cope this beam here with this beam and then move this one back. So now what I can do is simply just copy this thing around. So I'm going to select it, type in the copy command, and copy it from here to here. I will have to move this back a ways. Hit the move command, and I'll copy this one, the end point here to here. And then for the remaining, I'll just go ahead and just mirror these two, the opposite side. In the next video, how to create columns and footings. So we'll see you then.